How you doing, fellas? Oh, doing some more sorting. I know it's getting kind of late tonight. Not exactly sure what time it is. I haven't looked at the clock in a bit. Uh, most of the stuff I came across today was Invasion and Odyssey block. Odyssey wasn't exactly one of my favorite blocks at all. I mean, I don't know. It just I played it a lot, but I I guess you know in retrospect it didn't do much for me. Hmm. Take from that what you will. I mean, even Masks block had like you know Nemesis right in the middle of it to make to have at least a little bit of coolness and like what's otherwise a pretty ho hum block. Um. Oh hey, I put that aside because I wanted to mention it briefly. World Gorger Dragon. Uh, the card that was known for screwing up tournaments. Um. He's 3 and 3 red for a 7-7 seven, seven flying trample. When he comes into play, exile all other permanents you control. When he leaves play, bring them back. So, um, what was fun with him is you, uh, first turn you'd, um, I can't remember what it's called off the top of my head, but, uh, you'd, uh, search your deck, you'd play this black card where you search your deck for him, and toss them in your graveyard. Next turn you play a second land and you cast Animate Dead on him. He come Animate Dead hits the board, Dragon comes into play, Dragon exiles all your permanents, which is your two lands and your Animate Dead. Animate Dead leaves the play, Dragon goes back to the graveyard, Dragon goes to the graveyard, Dragon has left play. Your lands and your Animate Dead come back in. Um, your lands, lands always come in untapped, even if, so, it doesn't remember their previous state is being tapped. The game just doesn't work that way. So they come back in untapped, Animate Dead comes in untapped, and the way um, Animate Dead's been um, eroded to read is that it technically is not an aura. It turns itself into one after it comes into play. It's kind of wacky, but um, it is what it is. So it hits the board. So it hits the board. Then it pulls the World Gorger out of the graveyard. World Gorger hits the board. Your lands and the enemy dead leave play. Um, the cute thing about this is that pretty much once the lands come back in, at any point you can tap them for mana and then let the cycle continue. They leave, they come back in untapped again. So you can effectively generate infinite amounts of mana this way. And basically what would happen, the problem is, is there's no break in the loop. So you need a way to break the loop and make some use of this um, ridiculous amount of mana you've uh, picked up. Or some sort of uh, instant speed way to take advantage of this ridiculous amount of mana. And if you don't have a way to break the loop, and your opponent doesn't have a way to break the loop, and there's no win condition present, according to tournament rules, the game ends in a draw. So World Gorger Dragon would frequently be used as a means to bring the game to a draw or an early win. Yeah, it sounds kind of unfair. But it is what it is, you know. Coffin Queen, she was fun back in the... She's still a fun card. I'd love to see Coffin Queen reprinted. That would be really sweet. Uh, basically, uh, you can choose not to untap her during your upkeep. And you can pay some mana and tap her and pull a creature from... I believe it's any graveyard? Any graveyard! And put it under plan to your control. And... You remove that creature from the game if Coffin Queen becomes untapped or if you lose control of the Coffin Queen. But these days would be exiles. So, um, yeah, it's fun because you can just steal creatures, exile them, do all sorts of crazy stuff with her. She's neat.
What else we got here? Uh, we got a small number of uh, original Beard and Block cards. Yeah, some of them are nifty. I mean, you got like weird stuff like the uh, Nuisance Engine, which is uh, an uncommon for three colorless artifact, two colorless tap, put a zero one pest artifact creature token to play. Uh, let's see if we can find some more room to lay some of these down. There they are. Interesting stuff in this block. Oh, I'm thinking of it. Where is he? I know I saw him in here somewhere. Mira Land Shaper. Is it Shaper or Shaper? Wait. Yes, it's Shaper. I thought it was Shaper. I was 100% certain. Started to doubt myself on that one. That's okay. It's uh, three calls for a 1-1. One, one. You tap it. Target land is an artifact in addition to other types till end of turn. He's one of those cards that combos really, really entertainingly with March of the Machines. Uh, three calls, blue, enchantment, all artifacts in play are, are artifact creatures with power times equal to their converted mana cost. The converted mana cost of a land is zero. So, you got Martial Machines in play, you got Lemire Landscaper in play, you tap the Landscaper and you just basically, you nuke a land. People don't like that. People don't like it when you attack their lands. And, um, I, I can't say I blame them too much, but on the reverse side of the coin, I mean... You know... People complain and whine and whatnot about land destruction. My attitude was, yeah, you know, because um, if land destruction was meant to be part of the game, Richard Garfield would have put Stone Rain in Alpha. Oh, wait. He did. So, um, yeah. Yeah. Oh, well. All sorts of crazy stuff. Oh, look at that miscalculation. That's a fun one. Uh, it's a colorless and a blue. It's basically, it's a two-point, uh, I can't think of what it's called now. Um, Monoleague. Thank you. Thank you, me. Yes. Um, it basically, it's a two-point Monoleague, but it had, but it cycles for two colorless, so that's kind of nice. Um, Frantic Search, two colorless and a blue. Draw two, then choose and discard two. Oh, and untap three lands. Cloud of Fairies, just really stupid good. Colors in a blue for a 1-1 one, one flyer. When it comes into play, untap up the two lands, and you can cycle it for two colorless. That, that's really, really efficient. You don't normally see that kind of efficiency, in, e even today. Oh, well. I'll catch you guys later. I'll wrap this up so I can get stuff filed away. Yada, yada, yada. Be good, fellas.